hey guys so i know that you have missed me doing uh long form videos like this but of course i am uploading some shorts you know for a while and i have been consistent but this is not what we are going to discuss right now as what you've seen right here about um this post from the great escape under the closed beta so i know that uh you have remembered my uh video back then about the great escape in which i have played their mini game plus i have uploaded a uh youtube short about this uh fun game right now they have a brand new tournament that is ongoing so and I quote, The Great Escape is celebrating the launch of Bifrost Finance Omni LS DAP with a special tournament. So it will begin on Thursday and it will last for a week. So if you want to participate, so you just have to register and get the chance to win over 500 USD worth of prizes. So for more details, guys, I'm going to open the official medium of The Great Escape. So this is the one. All right. So... Here are some of the details that you needed, especially um, for the registration. So um, if you already registered back then in the previous tournament, you don't need to re-register again. You're all set and good to go to participate in this tournament. All right. But if this is your first time, guys, about the Great Escape and wanted to enter the tournament, so all you have to do is to register, okay? So um, you could see um, all of the details right here, especially the tournament. And of course, um, the prices worth of VGLMR tokens. Okay. Now, I don't want you guys to get bored, you know, for this a long form video. It's time for me to show you how to play The Great Escape. So back then, it was just a mini game. But right now, this is for real. This is the Bifrost tournament version of The Great Escape. So before you proceed, make sure that you smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more videos about crypto, DeFi, Web3, GameFi, NFTs, and more. And then let's get started. So I've already logged in. So since I already have registered in the previous tournament, so I don't need to re-register. I just simply log in, okay? Now, um, to check the interface right here, guys. Um... You can see um, the rankings here for the uh, accumulated. So it's still loading. And here are the um, updated ones. And of course, for GLMR apes, the Battle of the Apes, and the Bifrost. And of course, um, if you don't know how to play this game, so there is a training section here. And of course, um, these are your in game currencies for the Great Escape. And if you want to shop, for the shop guys about this items right here um these are what we call shakes okay so um there are prices worth in glmb tokens and for this one guys if i'm going to highlight so it says add two percent to your overall score each game so the same thing goes with the other ones right here but uh in different quantities for 10 glmb it's three percent and this one is five percent now um let's go to the training first so we can select a level so um you can see that there are like 27 levels okay to get things started maybe i should uh choose the zoo first and then we could choose our apes okay so we have the gorilla the chimpanzee the orangutan the bonobo yep so there are just four Let's say I'm going to do with the gorilla. So I'll play with this ape. You see, select your great badge. Um, let's say I want to do this. Gorilla bronze badge. Increase the HP of your ape by 3%. And of course, um, you can see um, some of the badges. Ranked from bronze to diamond. Let's say um, I want to do this. Select this badge. So on top of equipping your GMLR jungle with a great badge, you can also add it to a minor badge. So there are six minor badges. If I'm going to choose the Ape Rat, it doubles the score points you receive for each enemy killed. For the Coco Helmet, allows the player to sustain several enemy hits during 15 seconds before starting to lose HP. The Fruit Taster allows the player to eat three rotten fruits without losing score points. For the juicy attraction, it provides a player with a magnet at the beginning of the game session during 15 seconds. This magnet automatically attracts the good fruits to the player. 
For the Master of Time, gives additional extra time for your game session. And the letter doubles the score. 50 instead of 25 you get for each Apes letter in the game. It also doubles the bonus if you get all four letters. 150 instead of 75 extra points. So we can choose some of the uh, minor badge right here, okay? Uh, for instance, I want to choose the Ape Wrath because I like the score to be doubled for each um, opponent that I'm going to eliminate, okay? So I'm going to select this badge. So if I'm going to send the transaction, guys, here we go. All right, so we have a time limit here. You see? Oh, you see? <laughs> I made the same freaking mistake. There are many obstacles here. I can double jump. So I got 85 seconds remaining. So if I'm going to eat that, you know, cost me around 30. Just to give you guys an idea. Oh my god. Now I need to I need to go up here. Alright, oh I need I first I need to go up here. I got fifty seven seconds. Okay. Oh god. I got 46. It's been a while, guys, that I haven't. Um... All right. Oh! All right, so it's game over. So um, you can see um, my stats here. So I only collected um, the P word. Um, yep. <laughs> so, my total score is 709. So, let's see. I'm going to go back to menu. But, of course, that's just for the training mode. Okay. Now, um, it's time for us to um, actually play the tournament. So, yep. My character is this, the Gibbon. Since I only have this one. So, I play with this ape. And, of course, um, I don't have badge since um, this is not a training mode. But... Of course, this is for real now, so I play without badge. The same thing for the minor badges. And of course, um, there are some jungle booster here. Um, we have the banana bounce, the ape mana, and the turbo boost. And of course, there are others like the resurrection and the banana gun. So I think out of this five, maybe I should try for the resurrection. So I play now. Alright. Ready? All right, I should avoid this fruits. Okay, I need to memorize <laughs> because um, this one gives me um, negative points. Okay, here we go. All right, now. All right, I need to be careful. All right. Well, look at that. The Pegasus, mate. There are obstacles that I need to... Okay, here we go. Whoop! Oh, I step on it, sorry. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I need to pay more attention to this one. Oh, man. Alright, here we go. Okay, so this is the white one. Okay, I'm good with it. Alright, um, I need to avoid this kind of fruit, man. Oh! Ah! Oh, he made me do it. Alright. Okay, nice. What should I do next? 
Woo! That was close. Okay. That's fine. Oh, sorry about that. That's minus points. Hmm. Oh, that's another minus. Sorry. Oh! <laughs> How far do I go? <laughs> Those scores 291, so... Yeah! So this round has 120 seconds. Okay. I need to avoid... Oh, finally. Oh. I think I should avoid that. Okay. Not bad. Oh, I should avoid that. Oh, why I can't avoid it, man? Alright, it's 17. Okay. That's 14. Oh, no. I must avoid it. That's minus for me. Oh, God. Same mistake. Let's see if I can do better. Okay, so it seems that I can only play three times, you know, um, for this day. So maybe I should unlock this ape. So for one shake, here we go. So it takes around 12 seconds. So it's now unlocked. So I have to continue. Let's not make the same mistake, buddy. No! Oh! I was supposed to avoid it. Probably this is the checkpoint, but of course... Oh! I should have avoided it. Sorry. Okay. I must avoid this one. I got 54 seconds remaining. Hmm. Oh god. I think I should wait for like um no, I don't need to wait. Okay. Position. I already have the magnet. But maybe I was too late already. This is what I've got so far. Four, three. Oh, time's up. Oh God. <laughs> but so far, this is the farthest I've uh, ever had right here in the Great Escape. So yeah, got a total score of 758. So guys, that's just about it regarding the Bifrost Tournament of the Great Escape. So if you want to participate in this tournament, so um, all of the resource things are right here on my video description. 
So I would really appreciate some honest feedback from you guys regarding the Great Escape by Frost tournament, whether if it's positive or negative, or if you have some questions or clarifications that were not covered right here in this video of mine. I would try my best to answer them for you, or you can just head over to the official social media channels of the Great Escape and get in touch with the real admins and mods to potentially answer your queries. And if you think that this video is quite helpful and valuable to you, and did not hesitate or think twice in sharing this to your friends out there, especially those who are so enthusiastic regarding Web3 games, NFTs, and so much more. So I do have a question for you. Did you enjoy watching this video? Has this video helped you a lot and gives value in any way? And what do you think about it? Just let me know right here in the comment section. So once again, this is Nomad Fury and I'll see you all on my next video.